Hello peoples, it's Landon here and I wanted to share with you a house that I saw today. Um, it's a pretty major contender. It's really, really close to what it is I'm looking for. Not exactly, hence why I haven't put like an offer in or anything like that, but I wanted to show it to you. It's a 1,040 square foot bungalow built in the 50s. Seems to be quite solid. Original hardwood everywhere except for the bathroom. I mean, like, wow, it just looked really awesome. And on this big lot, I mean, we just, you can't get big lots in Regina anymore. I went into it and I was really impressed. Three bedrooms up, got a main bathroom, living, dining room, kitchen. And then you go into the basement and it is developed, but it's kind of dated. And it's a really weird, weird layout that they got there. So they have this big, long recreation room with sort of like this weird bar. And it's like 38 feet long by 8 feet wide. It makes no sense whatsoever. And then you have sort of like a laundry room slash furnace room and sort of this weird bedroom that they kind of slap together in the corner. The downside is that there's no rough and plumbing for any bathroom in the basement. So it's only one bathroom, which is like not going to cut it at all. So I'm you know, if I bought this place, I would have to jackhammer the floor, rough in plumbing, and make a second bathroom. But the reason why it's such a good contender is, one, it's in a really good location. Um, it's kind of in an area that I didn't really consider before. It's this weird little pocket where you have the old style housing of Regina, where you have the back alleys and the old style houses, and then suburban sprawl just starts to happen. And it's right at that breakpoint right there and it's kind of cute it's really a nice location it's still really close to downtown close to suburban shopping and you know kind of a hop skip and a jump away from the university so not bad the basements i would have to basically completely rearrange it and so i would tear it out and put three bedrooms down there put an extra bathroom and still have enough room for a nice rec room but there are some things that are kind of preventing me from making an offer. So number one, even though it's in this really nice neighborhood and on a really quiet street out front, behind it is a really, really busy, essentially a highway. Um, it's six lanes of 40 mile per hour traffic, mostly all cars. There's not going to be any semis or anything, but it's all commuters going to and from the suburbs, right? That's kind of an issue because it's you can't hear the traffic in the house because they got really good triple pane windows and whatever. Um, but when you're in the backyard where you want to enjoy yourself, you're always going to hear that all the time, um, unless I got like a whole bunch of dense shrubbery or something back there. So that's one issue. Um, the other issue is that they put this brand new garage, like probably within the last five years, and that would be great, except it's a one car. And I would almost prefer to have no car garage, so that way I have the option to build my own, than have a one car garage. And it's 24 by 16 feet. Literally, they could have not made it an extra like five feet wider to make a second car garage. I don't know, whatever. It's $299,000, which is a little bit higher than taxable assessment. And usually the city taxes, you know, they, they assess your house at a fairly low assessment, so that way they don't have people, like, complain to them or whatever. Um, but I there are houses out there that are at taxable assessments. So this is about $18,000 away. They have an open house tomorrow, so I think I might actually bring a family member there who's really good at seeing structural stuff because most of my friends who have ever had a home inspection of any kind, just like not good experiences. They always miss things every single time. So I'll just have this family member take a look at it. Tell me what you think, um, and I guess we'll go forward from here. I'll keep you in touch. 